Hello guys and welcome back to another video of episode of Pokemon Brick Runs. So last time we beat Jake, our old friend, slash trainer. So I'm gonna go to Brimble City now. Here we go. Alex Alex six seven quick over here. Here's gonna be a long like talk. This is the gym leader of the Brimba City Gym. I just ran into him as I walked into town. Would it be okay if we stopped by the gym later today for a challenge? I'm sorry, but the gym is closed for right now. Earlier this morning, something terrible happened. A group of bandits, known as Team Eclipse, well done, raided my gym and stole priceless artifacts. What exactly did they steal? It's, it's called the Red Orb. The red orb has been passed down for generations in my family. A long time ago, my ancestors, when passing through this valley, found the red orb inside a volcano. Legend ha has it that the red orb is used to awaken sleepy Pokemon within the volcano. So basically, the Pokemon's power is tremendous enough to cause volcanoes to erupt. I'm not sure. I believe I'm. I'm. I'm not much of a believer in legends, but if this were true, it could destroy the entire city and half of Aurora. I don't think Team Eclipse realizes that. I believe they're just after the legendary Pokemon. Until I know more, it is unsafe to practice battling inside the gym. Alex67, if Team Eclipse is nearby, maybe they'll have your parents. W we have to go look for them. Team Eclipse is a dangerous group. It is not wise to go after them, but I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Which way do they go? They headed towards Route 6. Route 6 uh, leads to the entrance inside of Volcano. Wherever you decide to do, be very careful, I will. Uh, before I do anything, I'm going to get my pigment healed. Elite 6 7, go ahead and try to f and find Team Eclipse. I'll try and meet up with you later. I see him on Pokemon Sword. They're all nearly dead because of Jake. So, what we do is, um, see the chat. Nice, I'm still speaking French. Ah, uh, here's a Pokemon ball. What do I get? A uh, charcoal. Yeah. Let's speak to the people first. Uh, the fire is always burning. They make it look like a campfire, but from what I understand, there is a gas pocket directly beneath us that keeps the flame constantly lit. What does, what does this hiker want to say? I really enjoy Bimba City. The folks here live a really simple and peaceful lifestyle. I would live here if the city wasn't directly beneath a giant volcano, as you can see there. It makes me a little nervous, you know. Yeah. So... The nature of my Pokemon boosts its attack, but lowers its speed. It's interesting to see how different natures will affect a Pokemon's ability to fight. Yeah, like sand and stuff. Uh, Team Eclipse is nowhere near the Volcano of the Red Orb. If they aren't stopped, I fear for the survival of the city. Now I need to heal my Pokemon. Uh, hello, welcome to the Pokemon. Yeah, blah, 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 just see my Pokemon already. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah I don't care. Uh, which Pokemon is actually the lowest level now? Fletching and Bumblebee, and switch it. Fetching first because it failed in the. Um, um, yeah, let, yeah, let's go and find the um, pool. It's standing under this tree for the shade. Is it, the city is hot and hot enough. I can't speak English properly now. Even without being directly beneath a volcano, I hear there are loads of fire type Pokemon inside it. Yeah, I have good to hear you. 
I'm training my fist so that someday I can break right through this rock. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, good luck with that, dude. Actually, good luck. We are on a vacation. We, we wanted to visit Mount Ignatius. We have uh, we are from up north and have always wanted to visit somewhere warmer. Yeah, I always wanted to visit the strange rock formation on Route Six. I heard it was crafted by an ancient Pokemon as a landmark with some mysterious purpose. I just literally pushed it. Um, no one here except Route Six and access to the interior had. Um, to the interior of Mount Ignis are up ahead. Watch out for the dirt mounds. They are nest for wild durance. Durance have been known to bite. Okay, um, it doesn't really affect a Pokemon. He's playing games. So this is Route 6. As always, I want to experience. So there are loads of maybe fire Pokemons. Those are fire Pokemons. Zubat is in a fire Pokemon there. Why am I trying to battle this? You battle me, Hiker. These tools and their parts were created by molten lava. Years ago, they make great places to sit and wait for trainers to battle. Yeah. Hiker Kent. Dude. Ah, where's my world to po water Pokemon? I got you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, flight. I have to use Mario in this case. Wait, is Jude with a fire Pokemon? I'm actually not sure. Just use Swallow Beam and just finish it. Don't tell me you're gonna endure your hit. Here we go. I don't think helping Anna is a good move. Uh, but I'm just gonna. Double battles boost the power. Yeah, double battles doesn't affect me. Well, there are gonna be double battles after this, I know, at some point. Bonobai, because that's a lower Pokemon. Uh, cool. Double slap. Don't tell me you're going to hit two times. Can you stop that, please? Ah, oh, here we go. I'm asleep. How oh, great. Ah. Uh. Oh, for heaven's sake. Where's my Mario? I need you. Yeah, I don't know why I keep, like, every place I literally prioritise water Pokemon and they get people leveled up. Is it because they're powerful? Or was anything cool? gonna use roll out because I buy oh, oh do we have an in call or something like that huh well that's that well guess what bubble beam is strong enough to hopefully take you down oh yeah I can 